hello everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be sharing how to make this delicious rice recipe actually this recipe was inspired by susa jelly there was a video where she made tilapia rice and i really liked that video and i thought i should create one for my channel please if you're new here please help me subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you mind you for this recipe i don't have tilapia at home so i'll just be using what i have which is titus fish also known as mackerel and shower fish i'm going to look for the name of this fish on google and i will put it there so this is the fish i'm going to be using i'm going to be using some seasoning cubes um pepper um garlic and onions with some lasso seasoning and some oil i'm going to be blending the onions and pepper with the oil as a marinade so you have to be careful while seasoning this fish with the lasso seasoning so i'm just going to rub in this lasso seasoning into it gently make sure this is properly coat, uh, coated and you don't over season this fish at this point because you're still going to add the blended marinade over it so just add the blended marinade over it and allow it to sit in the fridge for about two to five hours you can do this overnight if you wish but this was in a hurry i needed to eat this as my lunch so that's it so i had the leftover papers at home i'm just going to wash i washed everything and i will blend everything immediately this is what it looks like after blending it everything is well blended and colorful so to a skillet i'm just going to add in some palm oil into it and allow this to heat up then once it heats up you want to go in with some chopped onions that is i'm using red onions for this recipe and stir well stir for about four to five minutes until that heavy palm oil taste begins to leave this palm oil then as you add the blended peppers into it you turn off you reduce the heat to the lowest at this point because you don't want this to burn at all so i'm just going to give this a quick stir and cover it and allow it to fry very well so i'm just giving it a quick stir very well let it mix together that is the pepper and the oil so after some minutes i checked on this and it was frying very well so i'm just going to add in the leftover marinade into this marinade was left in the fridge so it didn't spoil so i'm just going to add it and stir it in very well and allow it to fry some more till all the oil starts sipping to the top at this point all the oil has started sipping to the top i'm just going to season, season it with the remaining lasso seasoning that i had at home and some salt and the seasoning was perfect at this point like it did not need any other adjustments so i'm just going to stir this around very well let it get incorporated let the seasoning and the sauce marry each other then i'm just going to add in some leftover bits a uh, beef seasoning um stock which i had i from one of these two recipes i made so i'm just going to add in the fish at this point and allow this to cook together so that the fish will cook very well mind you this gas what the heat was still on the lowest so this fish will cook slowly for the next 10 to 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes i checked on this and it was it was well cooked please do well to be checking on this consistently you don't want anything to go wrong you don't want the fish to scatter in this recipe so i'm just going to begin adding the rice into this mind you this rice wasn't about i only used hot water i soaked it into in hot water so that i don't over about this this is just like you making jollof rice at this point i thought this skillet wouldn't contain this rice but it contained this and i was very very happy so just do well to use a skillet which you know that will contain this rice that will accommodate it well without it pouring away then you adjust the seasoning if need be and cover it allow it to cook properly uh, mind you this gas or this heat was still on the lowest heat don't increase the heat you don't want this to burn you want this to cook through you don't want the rice to be too hard and neither do you want it to be too soggy you just want it to stand on its own let it be one one at this point i was just stirring everything in i don't want one part of the rice to be yellow and another part to be white so i just wanted all the color to be uniform also i'll just stir this consistently and I'll just level it like this and cover it and allow it to cook some, for some more at this point this rice was well cooked very fluffy and tasty as you can see from the color 
yellow color this is what you should be aiming for everybody so you just fluff the shreds around and look for any raw parts and allow it to cook properly at this point the shreds was well cooked i had no problem with it the salt everything was perfect so i'll just add in my fish into this rice and allow it to infuse some of the flavor into it then i'll just add in the remaining stew on the plate and cover this for about 10 minutes let the tastes marry each other let the flavors marry each other so at this point the rice was ready please help me subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you very much